Hi everyone, my name is Kat. I'm here from Think Circus. We are a circus based in Leith in Edinburgh. We are teaching circus to all ages and yeah, it's just the most fun ever. It also helps you learn how to learn and get better physical skills um, and just generally have a really fun time and be playful, whatever age you are. So today's workshop, we're gonna be doing circus with things you can find in your house. So I'm going to give you a little overview of what you need and you'll have a little bit of time to go and find those things before we get started properly. So we are going to need three things. We're going to need a piece of paper. Um, for this you can use A4, uh, I would go A4 or bigger. If you've got A3 that might be fine, um, but not much bigger than that. Nothing fancy, piece of paper. Uh, you'll also need some sticky tape to go with that. Then you'll need a cushion. So this one, I would recommend a square cushion. Um, that makes it a little bit easier. And these are kind of like the biggest and the smallest cushion that you would want to use. Um, these are quite flat, you see? Flat really helps. This is um, probably best for an adult. And this one, I would say if you are a bit smaller, this is probably um, a good one for children. Um, if you're maybe between sort of five and eight, I would go the little cushion if you're maybe age eight and bigger. This kind of cushion is good, but it's going to be a little bit heavy. So anywhere between these sizes. Um, yeah, and then the last thing that you're going to need is some sort of juggling balls. Um, we have a little video on how to make your own juggling balls if you want to go away and try. Um, you can always try this workshop and then make yourself some. But if you don't have juggling balls and you're kind of <laughs> worried about that right now, the easiest thing to do is just go and grab yourself um, a pair of socks, put them in another pair of socks. Really, really good set of juggling balls that you can use um, for today's workshop. And yeah, I, you could have three. We're actually going to use one ball for most of this, but I will explain a little bit about the theory of three juggling three balls. So yeah, that is what you need. <laughs> Uh, we'll be able to do all our circus with those props and maybe just enough space that you can kind of move around a little bit and not knock anything or anyone over. Now I'm gonna just give you a little bit of time to get those things. So I want you to just start off in your space. We're gonna do a very quick warm up for our brains. So I want you to just find something in your space that is blue and you're gonna run and go and touch the thing that is blue. Oh, it's easy for me. <laughs> I want you to now go and find something that is green. Go and touch the thing that is green. I want you to find something that is pink. Go and touch it. If there are more than one pink thing in the room, go and touch all of them. <laughs> and then let's go for something Ooh, yellow. Go and grab something yellow. <laughs> Excellent. Um, we're then going to do another little brain warm up. So I want you to give me a big thumbs up. Excellent. Now give me a pointing fingers. Kind of grumpy pointing fingers. Excellent. We're then going to try and have one thumb, one finger. And I'm going to swap. So we'll go three, two, one, and then swap the thumb for a finger, finger for a thumb, and swap, and swap, and swap. <laughs> Great. Uh, the next one we're going to do, we're going to draw ourselves a square with one hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice. With the other hand, we're going to draw a triangle, but we're still doing one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to try and put them together. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Nice. And then we are going to do a bunny rabbit. Go. <laughs> but the bunny rabbit is being chased by a hunter with a gun. Uh, but the bunny rabbit gets away. Yes. Awesome. Okay, keep those fingers wriggling. I'm going to wriggle the fingers. We're then going to wriggle the fingers on our elbows. And then our elbows on our shoulders and our fingers all at the same time. <laughs> Nice. Great. Then we are going to do a big shape. So we're going to come up 
We're gonna wriggle our fingers in front of our face, wriggle them behind our head, and then stretch up. And we're just gonna come, so we're coming hands in front of our face, hands behind, and hands above. And try and keep that movement going. Nice, we're gonna try and reverse it. Yes, lovely. Amazing, and then just get your arms flailing around as much as you can. Excellent, okay. We are ready to start our first skill. So um, if you've got that piece of paper, there we go. Um, we're just gonna take the paper, we're just gonna be rolling it up so you can see here. It's like I'm gonna make a cone and fill it with chips or something like that. It's gonna look like an ice cream cone. So I'm just rolling my piece of paper. There it is, roll, roll, roll. And what I'd like is for the end of it to be a bit of a point, so you can see here I've got a bit of a hole in it. I can lift up the top and just kind of give it a little wriggle until I get myself a nice point for that. And then when you've got yourself a nice point, you're going to get yourself some sticky tape and then attach it. Um, I'm just gonna bring up one I've done earlier. There we go. Um, you can see here as well, I've just kind of decorated mine. That's something you can do if you want to later on. But um, yeah, for now, you just need a little cone. Okay, wonderful. So we have our cone. We're ready to start balancing it. We're going to have our hand up. We're going to just place the cone on our hand. And we want to really try and just follow the cone. So if the cone, the top of the cone starts going in one direction, we're going to follow it. Rarely in a balance are we going to end up standing totally still. Um, so you will find that it's almost always moving unless you've got very lucky and you've just placed it in exactly the balance. But usually, even just letting go of it um, will cause the cone to start falling over. So if it goes off this way, I'm going to follow it with my hand. I don't want to go too fast because if I do, my cone is going to drop, but really try and feel, I know it's really light, but try and feel the weight of the cone in your hand and really try and keep the bottom of the cone directly underneath the top of the cone. And you'll notice, good example there, you'll notice that if you don't look at the cone, it's really hard. <laughs> if you look at the bottom of the cone, it's a little bit hard. And then if you start looking at the top of the cone, it gets a bit easier and that's because I can see it falling over earlier so you can take your cone give it a bit of a practice however once you know how to balance a cone a cone is a little bit tricky because they're quite small actually if you balance bigger things it's a bit easier so you can always have a look around your house and see what else you might be able to balance and you can keep on your making your balance better and better and better um, by noticing how long you can balance for and really just trying to go a little bit longer every time. So I might think, oh, I can do one, two, three seconds. Three seconds would be really good the first time you try it. Um, and then you'll find without too much time, you start to be able to do it for a bit longer and a bit longer. So that's our balancing. Nice one. We're next, we're gonna move on. So our next skill is gonna be a little bit of cushion spinning. <laughs> now with our cushion spinning, as I said before, you kind of want a nice, flat square cushion that's the best and you can actually sort of do a little squish um, folding your cushion in half both directions and that sort of gives you a bit of an indent where you're going to put your finger so first off we'll just try some cushion balancing you might want to use two fingers or one finger depending on if your cushion is heavy but just try and see can you hold your cushion up in the air and not let it drop if it's very difficult to hold your cushion in this position, then you might want to think about getting a different cushion, or if you notice it's really, really heavy, this might be a, ch a time to swap. Nice. Hopefully we can do that. Weehee! Great. So we're next, we're going to try giving the cushion a little spin. And we just want to give the cushion a gentle push over in the corner, see if we can keep it going. And this is where, if you've got two fingers, it will help to just kind of cross doo -doo -doo, like this. Um, because it helps to just have one point of contact with your cushion. But you will notice that, of course, it eventually runs out of steam. 
with one. It's just going to go as many times as you as, as you gave energy at the start. So how can we keep our cushion going for longer? Well, we can keep pushing it. We can do little push, 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 and that'll keep it going for a bit longer. Um, or we can learn how to do a little throw of this one. It's a bit like, if you imagine you've got, you're either making pizza or you're kind of like a waiter. Um, so you wanna have your hand pew, 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 like this, like you're serving up a delicious meal. And then try and twist your hand. So I'm just gonna twist my hand all the way around. Twist it as far as it can go. Twist it as far as it can go without letting the cushion drop. Nice, we can like, see, can we keep our arm moving and our cushion flat? And then twist it as far as you can one way and throw the cushion. And you'll notice the cushion you just want to land it in your hands. You'll notice that the cushion does a nice pizza-like spin. Using this very light cushion fits nice. There we go. So we just do a little spin and a catch. Spin and a catch. And if you've got that spin and it's feeling quite good, we can try and do the spin and then catch it on our finger. Yeah, so spin and finger. And I'm going to switch to my slightly bigger cushion because, as I said, a bigger cushion is slightly easier. So I'm going to spin and catch. Yeah. And then this time, I've now got a way that I can spin it with just one hand. So if my cushion starts to go, I can, whoa, terrible example, I can spin my cushion and spin my cushion. Spin my cushion, spin my cushion. So now I've got a really fast spinning cushion. Whee! And every time it lands, I'm gonna twist. So I'm doing this twist and push up. And as I twist my cushion, I want to have the cushion just on my tips of my fingers. Um, so yeah, give this a try. Like I said, you might find that a big cushion is really heavy. Uh, you might find that a light cushion is so small it's a little bit hard to spin. So try it with a few different cushions. If you've got the big cushion, remember you can always go to fingers together. And I'm sort of almost doing like a little snake um, with my fingers. Trying to catch in the middle. And there it is, a little bit of cushion twirling. Um, this will make you excellent at making pizza. Um, <laughs> it's exactly the skills that are used by Italian chefs when they make their pizza to make it go all nice and stretchy. Um, you also get very fancy circus props which look like a very beautiful tasseled blanket uh, where when people spin it, it spins out lovely fringes and yeah, so this is a very useful skill. So our last part of the workshop is all about how to juggle and I'm gonna be showing you the basics of juggling but also a few tricks we can do with one ball. So if you have juggling balls, great. If not, you can use socks. Um, so ball up the sock and put another sock around it, twist it, wrap it back on itself and you'll have a juggling ball. So then we're going to take our ball, we just need one, I'm gonna learn a few basic tricks. So starting off, holding the ball in your hand, we're gonna go for the smallest throw in the world, trying to just release and grab again, try and kind of keep the ball in the exact same place and bring your arms as far apart as you can. Awesome. We're then going to try throwing and catching. I'm sure you've got this down, but I want you to try something different, which is that you are gonna try and make sure the ball goes in front of your eyes. Uh, just try and look straight ahead and watch as the ball kind of passes through your field of vision. Your brain is very smart. It is able to figure out as the ball passes through um, how fast it's going, where it's gonna land and exactly when it's gonna land. So you shouldn't have to think about it too much for your hand to catch it. And you shouldn't need to look at your hand. 
That's gonna feel super weird if you normally look at your hands when you catch, but really just looking straight ahead, you'll be surprised what your hands can do. Amazing, and we wanna try and keep the throw. Let's try always keeping the ball in front of our eyes. That's really nice. Okay, let's try a few other throws. So we're gonna try a really small throw, keeping it really small. You can even just do it side to side. Nice, try doing a bit of a high throw. See how high can you throw the ball? Might be a good time to look around you and check. It's safe to throw the ball, but throwing it a little bit higher and noticing. Maybe it feels a little bit more tricky to catch it when you throw it a bit higher. Yes, nice. So we're gonna try our first kind of fancy trick. We're gonna put our arm, we're gonna put the ball into your elbow. And um, depending on the balls you have, if you've got ones that aren't very squishy, you might kind of give it a little roll just to kind of keep it there. Yeah. And then we are gonna be popping the ball forwards. So I'm just gonna straighten my arm. And if you want to, you can go pop and catch. So we're really just looking to place and then pop and catch. If we can do that one, we can do a little bounce, pop, catch. Nice, pop, catch, pop, catch. Oh. Awesome. So we can kind of pop the ball all the way around. And then we can try our next one. We're gonna put the ball on the back of our hand. And just, you can see how I've sort of made a little cradle, dropping my finger down. Take your ball around, see if you can write your name. And if you can do that, try doing a really little throw. And here's the secret, when you catch, try and absorb momentum, so try and go down with the ball. So as I catch, I'm just going down with the ball. And that takes away some of the, the bounce. So instead of the ball hitting your body and going pew and flying off, um, it's gonna be a bit more gentle of a landing. There we go, nice. And our last trick we're gonna do is around. Um, so we're gonna go around the ball. So I throw the ball up in the air, and then I try and take my hand in a circle. So I'm gonna go throw, circle, and catch. Okay, it's nice. So we're really trying to circle the ball. You might be able to do two circles. Nice. Cool. And then before I go, I just wanted to show you the basics of juggling. This might be something that's a little bit rushed. And um, we do do a free five day learn to juggle course uh, on our website, which is thinkcircus.co.uk. Um, so you can go and take a little bit more time, but I just wanted to show you um, in case you can already maybe juggle two balls, um, how to move up to three. So I've got two balls now and they are different colours. I'm going to start off with the ball in my dominant hand. So I'm right-handed, that's my right hand. I'm going to be throwing the ball exactly like we practiced at the beginning. One, two. So did you see how my balls both went the same height? They were up to my eyes. So this is the skill that you want. Just being able to throw one ball and then the other. And you can even practice this by going one, two and just letting the balls fall on the floor. Did you hear how as they fell on the floor, they went one, two as well. So once we're doing that, try starting with the ball that is um, in your dominant hand and then try starting with your other hand. So if you're left-handed, it'll be left hand, right hand. Yeah, nice. And swapping over. If you can do that, you can go on to juggling three balls and okay, I'll just quickly show you, you've got two balls in one hand. The hand that's got two balls, we are going to be throwing the front ball. We're going to throw that front ball and before it gets to this hand, we're going to throw this ball out of the way. And we're going to do it again. So it goes like this, one, two, three. You can almost think of it as like a Mexican wave, you know, when you're in a crowd and um, all of the crowd lift their arms up at the same time. So I've got to throw the ball because I want to get it out of my hand so I've got space to catch. And that is how we do a three ball cascade or basically what is called juggling. Now I know that it's not lots and lots of time to learn how to juggle and it does take a little while. Definitely took me a good week practicing a little bit every day. 
Um, but yeah, you can go and learn how to do it a little bit more on our website or just have a play with one ball. You can do loads and loads of really fun tricks um, just with the one ball. So remembering we could do all these nice tricks that we just learned. Yeah, cool. Thank you so much for taking part in the workshop. Um, I'm gonna leave you with some fun performance um, so you can have a little look at some circus and hope you have a brilliant rest of the festival. Okay, enjoy.